throws your food bag so it doesn't fall out. Right. Show him the ball. Go and stand in the blind and hold this here. Right. Just hold it to be passive. Where are you? Hold it in front of you. So why do you want it to let go before the growl starts? He doesn't have to growl. He's growling because he hasn't been rewarded right at the right time. Sit. So why do you touch him like that? Oh, every do you do the barking? Right, right. So you every barking? time he barks, you touch. Have it take him away, huh? Every time he touches, he barks, you touch him. Yeah, boy. Yes. Um, if you watch him at the start, he's barking. He's really used to it. And then touching me, I just happy him. Made the barking become more. And what I was looking for was that he would increase the tempo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was like dum 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 dum. I don't want him to become dum 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 dum. 
So by touching him, it also supported him and was telling him that that bark is the strong bark as well. And then marking it at the right time, looking at it, teaches him that, yeah, do, just do that barking. And from the first part we go to come, who are you? To, yeah, it's okay. I do the barking and um, a rocking keeps the obedience. That is you keeping clean. Well, he'll, sit, he'll sit there and, and then he learns, oh yeah, I'll do this barking. Right? We don't have to then interfere with punishment. Mm. We just have to bring that later on when we want to make, uh, when the dog's more aroused. Right, and, then, and then he understands why he got that big and if he broke the rules. You are making the rule and then he later on um, we can give him a, chance, a choice to break the rule and then get the consequence or not. Yeah. It's unfair unless you know that I told you you're breaking the rules. Yeah, you're going to the rules. Yeah. So he knows the rules there. And then what also we see that dog, like I said earlier on, the dog tells us the way he needs to be trained. We see he needs this with me to give him um, the direction to do that barking in the way that I want. Like, yeah, tap, power, good boy, tap, power, pat. And he's like, oh yeah, feel the tap, oh, oh. Well, so I'm beating the drum in a way, right? I'm doing the beating the drum and then he gets a click and he goes, oh yeah. So next time it gets more clearer to him that all he has to do is go and get that. And if everything is always the reward and the, the behavior for the reward is always the same, he'll keep repeating it, right? It's very difficult when you say, this is the behavior and this is the reward, that you go and then um, put the dog in the same uh, context, right? blind and that, and say, um, I'll, I'll give you, you're not doing the behavior, but I'll reward that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now we have two different behaviors getting rewarded, and we only really want the one behavior. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah.